Other news tonight, General Motors' Warren Transmission Plant is now just days away from winding down its current operations. Yeah, that happens Friday tonight. A lot of questions remain about the plant's future and what's to become of its UAW workforce. Local 4 Business Editor Rod Maloney is live tonight with a look at what all this means. Rod. Yeah, Kimberly, you know, General Motors announced the plant being unallocated last November when it did the same for a number of other plants, Detroit Hamtramck, and then, of course, Lordstown Assembly, which is the one that got most of the headlines. But here is the thing. There is going to be a negotiation in the national UAW contract to decide whether they keep this place open or not. But in the meantime, the workers are transferring to other plants. To UAW members, the word unallocated means a life turned upside down. UAW 909 line worker Danielle Murray's uncertainty has her shaking. The anxiety that I have not knowing where I'm about to go and what's going on with my future is a hard thing to, to swallow. Local 909 president Ghana Goodwin Dye welled up with tears. This is wrong. I need the American public to know that if this can happen to us, it can truly happen to them as well. She's referring to work moving to Mexico or China. In recent times, the plant built six-speed transmissions for the Cadillac XTS and Chevy Impala, poor selling large sedans. It also built electric modules for their Chevy Volt, built at the Detroit Hamtramck assembly plant, which is also now unallocated. GM tells us in the end it employed 262 UAW members here at the transmission plant, 25 chose retirement, 60 others transferred to other plants, Flint, Toledo, Bowling Green, Lansing, and Warren Tech Center, to name just a few. That leaves 177 in limbo. But GM said in a statement today, quote, we have now placed more than 1,700 employees out of 2,800 from our unallocated plants to other GM locations. We have job opportunities for every hourly employee at the impacted plants. These are highly skilled employees, and we want them to stay with the company, end quote. Now the question is, will they want to move someplace else? But let's not forget that the Democratic debate comes uh, at the same time that they hold this news conference, the UAW Democratic Party, very close allies, and it is likely that this is going to come up at the presidential debates either tonight or tomorrow. Reporting live in Warren, Rod Maloney, Local 4.